You don't have a formula to make milk. You got to get out here and work. You got to have cold milk to sell the consumer. And it the workload at a dairy is exhausting and seemingly constant. With two milkings per day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, one might argue the work never stops. It's no wonder dairy producers are throwing in the towel. In fact, according to some statistics from the Dairy Farmers of America, an average of one southeastern dairy producer goes out of business each week. Not only is dairying labor intensive, it's also very hard to turn a profit, especially when milk is going for $13.50 per hundredweight. That number would increase with the emergence of a southeastern dairy compact, but that has yet to materialize. Right today, if we had a compact today, it would be putting a dollar and a half to two dollars more in our milk check a month, you know, for our milk. And that may not seem like a lot of money, but that's a lot of money when you when you ride on the bottom, you know. That would be one and a half to two dollars more per hundred pounds. And that adds up here at Eugene Robertson's Dairy, located just south of Pine Grove. Robertson's 200 Holsteins produce around 13,000 pounds of milk a day during the winter months. But this time of the year, production falls and falls. Robertson says it's typical for these cows to decrease their milk production this time of the year. However, to see the drastic decrease already in the month of May or June, well, that's unusual. He usually doesn't see this kind of drop off until July or August. Usually these cows max out at about 65 pounds per day during the cooler winter months. And here already in June, their production is falling fast. Last year we bought them out probably in the high 40s, but it's sort of hard to tell, you know, your, your lactation of your cow and uh, how long she's been milking and, and when you turn it out, it's going to have a lot to determine where you're going to bottom out at. But the way it's starting off this year, this is one of the driest winters that since I've been here, in the 40 years I've been here, that we have had. Even with fans, water mist, and fresh water, these cows have a hard time not only producing milk, but also staving off sickness. Robertson usually grows his own feed, but this year his 200 acres of corn will never see a feed trough. Nope, the drought has all but nixed any plans of saving money by growing his own feed. We'll have to try to buy something to mix in with it to uh, get us through, hopefully, until we can get some better weather. Daring is in Robertson's blood. Even some of his sons have followed in his footsteps. Milk kind of runs in their blood, one might say. It's just at a slower rate these days, thanks to low milk prices and an oppressive drought that doesn't seem to be letting up any. In St. Helena Parish, I'm Bill Sherman reporting.